Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. I'll be launching my first YouTube video. I've had a YouTube channel like forever, but I've just never used it. It's kind of a defunct YouTube channel, but once I launch it, I'll go through the spiel. You guys know it. Like, click, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. I am down here right now in Florida, John Chestnut Park. Got all kinds of wildlife. Some kind of a bird is making noise out there. Got people out in the water. Just enjoying a very beautiful day here in Florida. I mean, second half of May is when we pretty much make our transition into the, dry, into the rainy season from the dry season. So it really should be getting more humid, more uncomfortable, but nice and dry, beautiful day today. That's why I'm out here at the park. But I wanted to touch on the fact that it has been it's very exceptionally dry. I mean, I know we're in the dry season, but we should be getting more rain than what we have been. And it has just been, I mean, most of Florida is in a drought situation. We've got, agriculturally speaking, a lot of states that produce food, Texas, Florida, California, especially California, they're in a really severe drought right now. And that's one of the things I was gonna to touch on with this video is I was just going to go into what is a drought going to do as far as food supply? I mean, it's definitely going to have an effect. Now here in Florida, like I said, we're making our transition into the rainy season a month from now. We should be a lot better off than we are now. We should be getting those regular, almost daily showers and thunderstorms. But, you know, this drought right now is definitely having an effect on agriculture. And I mean, especially you look at Texas and California, big producers of food, and they're just not able to grow anything right now because it's with the drought, it is, oh, somebody's sneezing over there. It is just wreaking havoc on our food supply. And just, I'm sure if you've noticed, maybe you haven't, but if you need anything right now, it's the, the supply chain has been severely disrupted. I mean, I have a domestic vehicle and I needed parts for my truck which really weren't it wasn't anything out of the ordinary I mean under normal circumstances I should have been able to have gotten those parts really quickly within like a day or two but it took weeks I mean fortunately the dealership had a loaner vehicle in both cases otherwise I would have been without a vehicle because I would have been waiting for parts for my truck. It's a domestic truck, it's a GMC, so there really shouldn't be any kind of, you know, difficulty in finding a part for a domestic vehicle, or you would think. But I mean, I've heard all kinds of stories from people that if their refrigerator, you now in this one case, somebody's refrigerator broke down, had to get a new one, and it took almost months to order a refrigerator. So if you've experienced, if you've needed anything over the last year, you've definitely experienced this extreme disruption in the supply chain. And it, you know, this happened because with COVID shutting everything down last year, I mean, we're still essentially playing catch up right now in terms of getting everything back to being distributed but then to make things worse you had that ship in the Suez Canal that literally blocked thousands and thousands and thousands of other cargo ships from going through and that disruption it was it was about a week that it was blocking everything off and it we're still recovering from that I mean, basically, 
everything that's going on right now, and this is since, yeah, I'm going to say it. I mean, I have no party affiliation, but the Democrats, in my opinion, a lot of other people think the same, definitely stole an election. And it's, it's evident the way that they're running things right now. It's either they're purposely destroying the country and doing everything that they can to, to just disrupt it and just d destroy it, essentially. I mean, it's either being done on purpose or they are just the most bumbling, incompetent politicians that ever took office. Take your pick. It's one or the other. I mean, I, would, I think it's sabotage because I'm looking at everything that's going on right now and it's just way too convenient. It's, it's everything, the way that this country is going downhill, it is, definitely looks scripted to me. It definitely looks like it's choreographed, that this is being done intentionally. And, you know, with, with the supply chain being disrupted, and then we had, you know, this is another vulnerability that was exposed. The pipeline, Colonial Pipeline, got hacked that shut down the pipeline for less than a week. And look at the damage that caused. Look at the panic buying. I mean, down here in Florida, we're not even affected by the pipeline. I mean, northern Florida, there's a few areas up there that are dependent on it, but they really don't need it. They can get their gasoline shipped up from Tampa. And, you know, so it's not really an issue for Florida. The, the gas disruption should not have been an issue in this state, but it was. It, I've seen long lines. I mean, I, you know, fortunately I was able to get some gas in my truck before everything ran dry. I mean, there were gas stations running out left and right, but fortunately our governor was on the ball. Ron DeSantis is awesome. He declared a state of emergency right away. He probably anticipated that people would be panic buying, that they would be yeah, let me give you a different, well, you can't really see much, in a, in a little bit. He probably anticipated that everything, that people would just be buying out gas everywhere. And I mean, it, it just got stupid. You had people putting gas in garbage bags, in storage containers. I mean, just absolute stupidity. And it, it's just the panic buying. I mean, people absolutely panicked. And I think that there's still, where the pipeline was affecting fuel distribution, I think there's definitely still stations north of here in states like North Carolina, Virginia, New Jersey, New York. They're probably still empty right now because they just they couldn't get, couldn't refuel in time. And, you know, now the pipeline, it's been back online, so everything should be getting back to normal, but that just goes to show you the vulnerability of our system. I mean, as we move more towards a technological age where money is, is becoming digital, it, you know, I, I barely have any cash on me most of the time. I'm always using my credit card because it's associated with my bank account, and I just, every week or so, I go on and pay it. So for me, I really don't even carry cash, but I mean, what's going to happen if the next hack is in our financial systems? What are they going to do then? What's going to happen? I mean, look at how people are freaking out and panicking over the, the gas fuel line being disrupted, the pipeline. Look at what people were doing to hoard gas. I mean... What's going to happen if the financial sector gets hit and the banks are, are affected and people can't use their, their debit or credit cards? I mean, like, I, would, I use my credit card just about all the time. I mean, I'm going to be, I could be blindsided too, just like everybody else. And what's going to happen? Well, I'm just posting this video to, to let people know that be prepared for the unexpected. I mean, if the past year taught us anything, it taught us that definitely you can, you've got to expect 
the unexpected. You've got to expect to be blindsided. You've got to expect that, you know, anything can happen. And it has. So preparation is key. I mean, I would just recommend that you, you don't, don't panic buy, don't hoard, but just pick up a small amount of canned food, water, you know, you want to be stocked, you want to be ready, you want to be prepared in case the, the inevitable happens. And like I said, I, I mean, this has been a crazy month so far, the month of May, a lot of things have been going on. I think that things could be getting worse for the second half of May. I mean, we'll have to see. That's what I'm expecting because anyone watching this that feels the same way I do, there definitely is a secret war going on right now between the elites that are in power that run everything and people that are trying to stop them. And it's, to me, it looks like you know, the, the good guys have been taking a lot of, of punches, but it looks like we might have slipped a couple of good uppercuts. And I think that they're, they're kind of wounded right now. And, you know, a wounded animal is very dangerous because when they're wounded, that's when you have to watch out. They're, they're going to lunge. They're going to do something. Uh, you know, in closing, expect the unexpected. And... Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment. Until the next time, thank you and have a great day.